This brief instructional video demonstrates the proper technique for collecting blood samples for the Baby Secure Advanced Newborn Screening Test. It offers valuable tips for effective collection and highlights common mistakes to avoid during the process. Before commencing the collection process, ensure that the following materials are readily available. Baby Secure Newborn Screening Sample Collection Kit Heel Warmer or Warm Moist Cloth Alcohol Wetted Pads or Cotton Balls Gloves Heel Lancet with a tip depth of 1 mm and a length not exceeding 2.5 mm Sterile Gauze Aftercare Items such as Band-Aids Envelope containing desiccants with the address clearly written on it Please ensure that you complete all sections of the test requisition form accurately and legibly. It is crucial to provide comprehensive information in a clear and easily readable format. After the TRF has been correctly and clearly filled out, it is essential to verify and confirm the identity of the newborn before proceeding with the collection of the sample for the Baby Secure Advanced Newborn Screening Test. Next, position the infant's feet below their heart level to optimize blood flow before beginning the sample collection process. Gently warm the infant's heel using the provided heel warmer or a wet cloth soaked in warm water for three to five minutes with a temperature not exceeding 41 degrees Celsius can be used as a heel warmer. Warming the heel increases blood supply to the collection area, aiding in the sample collection process. Before initiating blood sample collection, thoroughly wash hands with soap, rinse well and dry. Then ensure proper glove fitment for hygienic handling. Perform the heel puncture also known as a heel stick on the sole of the foot. Utilize designated safe areas, highlighted in green. Avoid reusing previous puncture sites. Prep the heel by cleaning with an alcohol pad or alcohol-wetted cotton ball allowing complete air drying. Residual alcohol may dilute the blood sample affecting test accuracy. Using the heel lancet, make a slight angled prick within the safe area, remove the initial blood drop with sterile gauze to eliminate tissue fluid contamination. Wait for a second large drop to form. Apply blood drops to one side of the filter paper. Avoid milking the heel or puncture site. Gently touch a large blood drop to the filter paper, allowing absorption. Add additional drops if needed to fill the circle completely. Avoid revisiting partially filled circles. Do not add more blood to partially filled circles. Incomplete samples are not suitable for testing. It is oversaturated layered, or clotted. Fill each circle individually until all five are complete. Sufficient blood ensures comprehensive testing, including confirmatory tests if necessary. After completing sample collection, place the kit on a clean, non-absorbent surface to air dry for two to three hours. Consider using a drying rack for multiple kits. Once dry, transfer the kit to the envelope, along with desiccants. Send the testing sample kit to the Med Genome Lab for processing. For any inquiries regarding the test or sample collection process, please contact tech support at medgenome.com.